This is a Vantica tutorial video on importing homeowner tags. What is a homeowner tag? A homeowner tag is a quick and efficient way to group individual homeowners together in a way that allows you to pull reports of these owners, send broadcast messages to groups, or create action items specific to that tagged group in a future time. Why would we use a tag? Well, we would use tags for such things as notating landscaping service preferences, perhaps to show if a proxy or ballot has been received, or for grouping accounts by building or floor in a large association. Are you ready to start your first homeowner tag import? It all starts with a spreadsheet. So let's start one. Here's a copy of a homeowner tag import spreadsheet. For this import, Vantka needs only three columns. The first column is labeled as account, the second column, tag category, and the third and final column is tag. Any additional columns will cause an error when importing. The account column will indicate your list of owner accounts that will have this tag selected on their account. Once imported, all accounts in the association will have the option for the tag available, but only the account numbers included on the spreadsheet will have that tag box selected. The second column is tag category. Every tag on an account belongs under a tag category. We always want to be careful when we consider the way we name our tag category, as we may find the need to add more and more tags to a community and the tag categories make it easier to manage and keep track of those different homeowner tags. You can always use pre-existing categories that you may already have set up on your association. The new tag will show under the pre-existing category if you use one. Otherwise, a new category will be made on the homeowner tag screen. And the last column is tag. This is the specific grouping or verbiage you would like to use in order to group specific accounts together. And I'm just going to note one more time that this homeowner tag import must be these three columns and must have headers in this order labeled accordingly, account, tag category, and tag. Anything else will result in red error boxes during your import. Now that we have our spreadsheet completed, we want to go ahead and start our import in Vantica. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the Settings tab at the top and click Import. Now we are on our import screen. The first step is to go ahead and click the New Import button at the top left. From here, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the correct type of import type selected. So we'll choose our drop down menu. And again, in this case, we're doing homeowner tags. I select my homeowner tags. The second thing we want to do is make sure that we have the correct association right here in our association drop down. This is correct. We're doing our import for the Utopia HOA. And lastly, we need to go ahead and select our spreadsheet. You can do this two ways. You can either drop and drag your file into the select files box, or we can click the button and select it from our PC. I'm going to go ahead and find our tag import here and open. Once we upload our spreadsheet, Vantica will now take us to the final import page. And it's loading in our import. Here we go. All right, the first thing we're going to notice is we have import mode at the top. The system will default to append. We should always append an import. We do not want to replace. The replace feature will remove all homeowner tags for the selected association and will replace them with the tags you have created in your new import. This is important to remember. Always use append to add new homeowner tags. The second thing we'll notice is, again, we have an association dropdown where we can finally, and for the last time, 
confirm that this is the correct association we want to upload this import to. And then finally on the right, Vantica will show how many records are validated in this import. We have three and three matches our spreadsheet, so we know that is correct. Now we also see that there's no red boxes. That means we have no errors in our import. I'm going to go ahead and change tags category to tags instead of tag. Click out of the box and hit save. And let's see what happens. The system's saving. And here we go. Now we have red error boxes. The system is telling us tag is required and we have tags with an S. So I'll go ahead and click this column. I'll take away the S, I'll click outside of the box, and then click save again. Now all the red error boxes have been removed and our import is ready. Once our import is ready, all we have to do is come up to the commit button and click it. Our new import is now loading into Vantica. Now what we can do is we can go to the homeowner tab, click homeowner list, we have our correct association up here, and then we can go ahead and search for owners with that tag. I'll click my tag box, and a quick note, if you don't see your tag show up in this list, you may have to refresh your grid. The easiest and fastest way is to click the association at the top, quick change it to any other association, and then go back. Now I'm back on Utopia, our grid is refreshed, and now I can see that I now have my Building 101 tag in this list. I'll go ahead and click it, and now I can see here are the three owner's accounts that I had placed on my spreadsheet. By selecting one of these homeowners and going to the Homeowner tab and clicking Tags, I can see that this owner has the Building 101 tag and his box is selected. If I go back to the homeowner list and I go ahead and click an owner that was not on my spreadsheet like this owner right here, I again go to homeowner tags, I can see that this owner has the option for the tag but it is not selected. We now know that our import has worked and is correctly uploaded.